Hey everybody, before we begin today's video, I just wanted to remind you of the giveaway going on on the channel. Winners will be announced in next week's video, so if you want the chance to win a massive grab bag of journaling supplies and ephemera and stickers and ribbons and all kinds of stuff, then make sure to check out the giveaway video on the channel for all of the details. You have until next week's video is posted to enter, so make sure you get your entries in. Thanks so much, and on with the video. The dinosaurs are all extinct, right? Thousands upon thousands of years ago, they roamed the Earth, but nowadays you probably have to be on shrooms to see one. That is, of course, unless you live in the Republic of Congo. Welcome to the Crafty Cryptid, a channel dedicated to the eerie, the chilling, and the mysterious. If you enjoy this type of content, click subscribe and ding the notification bell. I post once a week on this channel. Today, we are going to take a look at a creature that is said to live in the uncharted jungles of the Congo. For over 200 years, rare but fascinating reports have filtered out of Africa that native tribes, some of which live very much as they have for thousands of years, are familiar with large creatures that can only be described as sauropods, like the Apatosaurus. One such creature, possibly the most well-known of these living dinosaurs, is the Mokele Mbembe, which means stopper of rivers. According to natives in the Congo, Mokele Mbembe has smooth brownish skin, is approximately the size of an elephant, has a long flexible neck, and a long tail, and is a vegetarian, though it's strong enough to kill a human if they came too close. If this sounds like something straight out of Jurassic Park, you're on the right track. During an expedition to search for Mikele and Mbembe in 1980, cryptozoologist Roy Mackle and herpetologist James Powell allegedly showed pictures of local animals to the natives, who correctly identified all of them. When the researchers showed the natives an illustration of a large sauropod a la Jurassic Park style, the natives identified it as Mokele and Bembe. But aside from the testimonies of these tribesmen, scientific evidence for living dinosaurs is scant at best. There have been no actual sightings outside of the tribes of the Congo. Photographs are fuzzy, as they seemingly always are when it comes to cryptids. And other than eyewitness testimonies from Congo natives, the only proof, and I use that term loosely, that we have are extraordinarily large footprints that were supposedly discovered in 1992. To date, there have been more than 50 expeditions to the region, but no scientific proof that Mokele and Bembe or any living dinosaurs exist. Still, that hardly means anything when you consider the vast uncharted lands of the Congo and the fact that scientists are still discovering new animals every day, including animals that were once thought to be myth. Take the okapi, for example. The okapi is a cloven-hoofed mammal with zebra-like stripes on its legs, which lives in the Congo as well. In the 19th century, rumors from natives and westerners living in the area alike were that there was an existence of an African unicorn or a mysterious donkey-like animal roaming the lands. It wasn't until 1901 that the okapi was properly documented and identified as a relative of the giraffe. It might seem like 120 years ago is nothing like today. In 1901, scientists did not have drones or high-powered cameras able to capture new and unique proof. 
But think about the fact that the Congo is still as unexplored as the ocean itself. It's 2022, and we still don't know everything about the forests and jungles on our planet. The dense rainforests and jungles on the Earth are as mysterious to us as the very depths of the sea, and scientists are still, to this day, discovering new species in the ocean and in the forests. Just last year, researchers discovered a new type of tree frog, snake, ant, octopus, whale, lizard, and dozens more. Who's to say they couldn't one day add the Mokele and Bembe to that list? When people are sitting around the campfire talking, they talk about the Mokele and Bembe. It's something that's a reality in everyday life, says Paul Olin, a community development worker who spent more than 10 years living with the Bayaka in the Congo. The way they see the world is a little different to the way you and I see it. According to Adam Davies, a British man who spends his spare time and money traveling the world in search of undocumented species, quote, certain mythology surrounds it, but when you put it to people, is this a real creature? They become quite affronted and consistently come out with physical descriptions. Never dismiss tribal accounts on the basis that they must be talking tosh because they are tribal. That's not right, and it's actually disrespectful." Unquote. I'd put the Mokele and Bembe in the same category as the Loch Ness Monster, says Bill Lawrence, professor at James Cook University in Australia, a conservation biologist and an expert in tropical rainforests. My gut sense is that the likelihood of the creature actually existing today is small. However, one thing you learn early on in science is never say never. We are still discovering new species all the time. Congolese government officials say 80% of its 66,000 square kilometers is uncharted. Much of it is dense, often flooded forest forming part of the second largest rainforest in the world. Does the Mokele Mbembe actually exist? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. To be notified when I post next, click subscribe and ding the notification bell. I post once a week on this channel. Leave a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching, and come back soon, cryptids.